Will you please land this thing, Hal? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. Really, Hal? Watch me. Hello, folks. Today we're going to talk about the Lippish P-15. Now, this little buzz bomb is actually a prototype of what was supposed to be. The ME-163 uh, buzz bomb was rocket-powered, and that was the predecessor to this. Both designed by Lippisch, Alexander Lippisch, in Germany. And uh, the first one was, of course, rocket-powered. You've seen it. Here's a shot of it flying on my Aerofly, which is a blast to fly. So most of you have seen my videos over the past on just about every subject. But my favorites are, of course, on the flying wings, and I've had plenty of them, and I really like flying wings. So I was looking for something to launch. You saw my last video where I did a complete uh, compilation of uh, shorts of my rocket attempts and rocket-powered airplanes and jet-assist airplanes off my homemade night flyer a pulp catapult launcher. And so I was looking for something that I could put a rocket on. And since this has a ducted fan in it, because that was what was supposed to happen, the new versions of this in real life was supposed to have a turbine in it. And of course this one does. It has a 64 millimeter ducted fan in here. And I'm going to show you, you can open up the canopy like this. And I'm using a 1300 milliamp 11.1 .1 battery in there. I have already installed a hook so that I can use my launcher. And we're going to see if that works. This has two servos. Yes, there's only elevons. Up and down, left and right. And there's speed controller, of course. Now they say in the instructions that this canopy is set up so that you can put either a Mobius inside or Firefly. Um, I'm not sure how to get it in there. I guess you would have to remove this canopy somehow and do that. But I don't like forward-looking canopies. You can't see anything but sky most of the time. I like putting my cameras on the back where you can see what's going on. This plane also comes with an optional landing gear. $12.95. You get the landing gear and a nose wheel steering servo that just bolts right into here. They say this thing will go 100 miles an hour. It has a great handle on the bottom. I mean, you can really hold this, so it'll be easy to hand launch, but what fun is in that? I think it's more fun to put it on the catapult. So we're going to fly it three different ways. I got this from OceanRC.com. They're a great company, and uh, I've never had any bad luck with them. So the manual, very simple to put together, nothing to it. So a couple of things I want to mention that I did to this was to change the connector from an XT60 to an XT30. All my small 11.1-1300 milliamp batteries have them, so rather than make an adapter, I just switched this out. The other thing I did was to install a hook for the catapult in a good strong spot where the plywood battery tray is. Also, I use foam tack glue on this instead of the tube that came with it. I really like foam tack, and I really like the 3D printed uh, dispenser nozzle that it came with. One thing not mentioned in the manual is the receiver location, but there is plenty of room inside the receiver compartment to mount this receiver. So it's really cool looking, so let's go ahead out and fly it.
Well, sure got a lot of grass stain. I'm glad I put this on there though. Well, since this Lippish looks so close to the ME163, let's put a rocket on it and give it a go. Well, thanks a lot for watching me have fun today. And gosh, I got to tell you, I really love this little plane. For just 121 bucks, it's a pretty good deal from MotionRC.com. And I want to give a special thanks to Ilya for her patience and camera work. So see you the next time, and fly easy. This is Dave the Night Flyer, signing off till next episode.